I take you, Amina. I take you, Joey. Be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward, for better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness. And in health. To love. To cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. And therefore, I give you my love. And therefore, I give you my love. With this ring. I thee wed. And with all my earthly goods. I thee endow. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Being roommates, being around each other, people just kind of grow different, go their different ways. But not me and Joey. We stay strong. We have the same likes, tastes. We love doing everything together. And now we're both here. Uh, we've both found the loves of our lives. We are now both married. Um, and so this story that I'm saying is just kind of a testament to the man that Joey is, the friend that he is, and as good of a friend that he's, that he's been to me, I know he'll be an even better husband to you. I just say, both of y'all, stay yourselves. You fell in love with each other for who you are. Never change. So yeah, uh, let's raise a toast to these two, uh, that God blesses them with a marriage uh, full of happiness and love. So cheers. best friend ever since I can remember. It was really special and I could tell that he meant a lot to her. I knew that Joey was going to be someone that would be a part of our lives. Joey, I want to tell you that I admire how much you have loved and encouraged Amina throughout your relationship and supported her. Um, being there for each other is the most important thing in a marriage. I pray for the two of you to have a long and happy marriage filled with love, laughter, and of course great food. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a toast to the bride and groom, to Amina and Joey. Uh, and plus, he was at our apartment like every weekend. But something that I noticed about him is that he would come on a Friday after work, and he would leave on Monday morning. And I would be like, this guy's crazy. He must really love her if he gets up at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning to drive through Houston traffic, just so he can spend one more night with you. And I was like, wow, that's, that's truly something special. <laughs> so, I mean, in this life, isn't that what we all want, right? Somebody that's crazy enough to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning just to drive through Houston traffic to go to work. So, I pray for everlasting love and happiness for you guys. Um, so, yeah, just uh, really happy that everyone could make it. Um, thank you so much. I also would like to thank everybody whose uh, hard work and uh, dedication really paid off and made this a very, very special day. 